The M80 Ring Road upgrade is a $2.25 billion project jointly funded by the Australian and Victorian governments and is the largest funded project Vic Roads has delivered. The M80 Ring Road was originally designed to be upgraded and now is the time. Carrying more than 140,000 vehicles every day, including 20,000 trucks, the M80 Ring Road has become crippled by congestion, crashes and unreliability. Accidents just after Pascoval Road. Also a smash on the Ring Road at the Craigieburn Bypass. The upgrade will ease the squeeze by winding the road to create more lanes. It will improve the safety for everyone on the road by reducing weaving and merging. Travel times will be more consistent with new electronic tools to manage traffic flow, ensuring you get from A to B in the same amount of time, every time. New planting and feature walls will also improve the look and feel of the road. The M80 Ring Road extends 38 kilometres from the Princess Highway in Laverton North to the Greensboro Highway in Greensboro. The upgrade is being completed in seven sections to minimise disruption to drivers. Sections with the most congestion and worst safety record are being worked on first. Let's now take a closer look at these. Construction on the section between the Western Highway and Sunshine Avenue is expected to be finished by mid-2013. Works in this section will see the freeway widen to four lanes in each direction and to five lanes between the Western Highway and Tilburn Road towards Altona. A new corrugated steel wall is being built between Tilburn Road and the Western Highway on the Altona bound side of the freeway and will add a new visual feature to the road. Closer to St Albans Road, a solar bank wall will be built on the side of the freeway. The wall will consist of solar panels which will collect energy to feed back into Melbourne's electricity grid as green power. At Furlong Road Bridge, the walls at the base of the bridge will also feature handmade mosaics. A new steel noise wall adds a new look and feel to the area. There will also be extensive landscaping using native plants that will suit the local environment. The Somerset Drive pedestrian bridge will be revitalised with a fresh coat of paint and new lighting features. This section of work concludes at Sunshine Avenue. Construction started on the section between the Calder Freeway and Sydney Road in December 2009. Works include widening the freeway to carry up to six lanes in each direction, remodelling the Tullamarine Freeway interchange and building a new bridge over Mooney Ponds Creek. Between the Calder Freeway and Airport Drive, the road is being widened to five lanes in each direction.
Crossing a widened bridge over Melrose Drive, drivers enter the M80 Tullamarine Interchange. This is a pivotal area providing access to and from Melbourne Airport. Widening the M80 Ring Road in this section will create three lanes for drivers heading towards Altona and four lanes for drivers travelling to Greensboro. Drivers travelling on the Tullamarine Freeway towards the city will see some key changes. The loop from the Tuller onto the M80 Ring Road Altona bound will be removed. It will be replaced by a new flyover ramp which will improve safety by reducing weaving traffic. There will also be a dedicated lane for drivers wishing to travel straight to Pasco Vale Road, which you will have to choose when you approach the interchange from the Tullamarine Freeway. For drivers travelling on the M80 Ring Road Greensboro bound wanting to exit at Pasco Vale Road, there will be two new dedicated lanes. You will need to choose the left lane at the Tullamarine Interchange because there won't be another opportunity to exit closer to Pasco Vale Road. A new six-lane bridge is being built north of the existing bridge over Mooney Ponds Creek. Two lanes are dedicated to those drivers exiting at Pasco Vale Road and four lanes for drivers continuing on towards Greensboro. Altona-bound traffic will be moved onto the existing bridge, which will carry five lanes. The new bridge will stand around six metres higher than the existing road, which means that vehicles, including trucks, won't have to accelerate hard to make it up the hill. This means less traffic noise for local residents as well as less congestion and better safety because vehicles will be able to maintain a consistent speed and drivers won't be tempted to weave to avoid slower vehicles. An extra lane will be added in each direction through the Jakarna Tunnel with entry walls shaped to guide drivers through the tunnel. Continuing east, a new pedestrian bridge will be constructed at Ophir Street and will include feature lighting. Landscaping in the area will include triangle planting beds with native trees. The Tuller Sydney Alliance works conclude at the Sydney Road interchange. The bridge has been widened to improve right hand turns. Additional lanes north and south on Sydney Road will allow better entry and exit from the freeway. This section between Edgar's Road to Plenty Road is now under construction. Work in this section involves widening the freeway to at least three lanes in each direction and four lanes between all interchanges. Landscaping in this area will involve planting more native plants, trees and shrubs. At Edgar's Creek, a new green retaining wall will be built and will improve the visual appeal of the area for pedestrians and cyclists using the path. The bridge over the Epping rail line at High Street will be widened to create room for the new lanes. A new intelligent electronic system made up of ramp signals Overhead lane signs and on-road message boards is being installed along the freeway to help manage traffic flow, improve safety and create a smarter road. The existing noise wall near Dalton Road on the Greensboro bound side of the freeway will be replaced with a new concrete earth toned wall.
New light green perspex walls will be installed over the Darabin Creek Bridge and will maintain the view of the surrounding environment. The Plenty Road tram line is the single tram interface with the M80 ring road. Here the bridge will be widened in order for the new lanes to be built. This section of work concludes at Plenty Road and is expected to be complete by mid-2014. The M80 Ring Road upgrade is one of the biggest jobs Vic Roads has ever done. The entire upgrade is expected to take more than seven years to complete. Vic Roads is currently planning for the improvement works for the remaining sections. <laughs>